Well, the high winds on the island lately have been bringing in the sargassum, or seaweed, as most of us call it, so be ready for that if you go out to the beach. But as Island Moon newspaper publisher Dale Rankin tells us now, if you look closely at that seaweed, you will find some interesting marine life in there. For the first time in several years, sargassum weed has started showing up on beaches here on the island. And the first and natural reaction is, get this stuff out of here. It stinks and we don't like looking at it. But experience has taught us that's not such a good idea. For one thing, seaweed helps renourish the beach and keep it wide at a time when crews are already struggling to widen it in the wake of recent high tides. But take a look at this. If you take a close look at clumps of seaweed, you'll find it's teeming with sea life. Just look at that. All of this from one handful of seaweed. Catherine Yeager and her husband, nature photographer Gary McClay, often use a saying to show kids why they should leave seaweed alone. What kind of stuff do you find when you pick up sargassum weed? Because they're little nurseries, you get an entire array of baby fish and puffers. You find seahorses and you find neuter branches. There are even creatures that are specific to the sargasm that camouflage. It's a fantastic array. Think of it as a floating nursery. And what do you do with them when you find them? For us, we like to put them in a nice little container, watch them for a little while, study them, and then put them back in the ocean and let them go free. And that last part is the most important. Check out the critters and then put them back where you found them. Seaweed is our friend. Almost oh, definitely. It makes it a lot of fun for kids, families, and budding scientists of all ages. So if you're coming to the beach this weekend, bring a tool to move the seaweed aside. And if it smells a little funny, that's okay. Just think of it as Mother Nature's floating critter house. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin, and we'll see you on the island.